Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you, welcome to Make It For Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing, I am not going to be taking this palette's virginity. I am not going to be showing you the sloppy seconds. I am literally, this is my third time playing with this palette. It's the Urban Myth palette from Black Moon Cosmetics. The theme is monsters. It's like Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, aliens, uh, crazy shit my shit. The color story looks like this and it's got an alien mirror. I'm filming this look for a variety of reasons and so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look or hearing my final thoughts on this palette, then just stick around. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start over and I'm going to just start placing the color Loch Ness and I'm gonna start creating a shape with that color. I'm primed with my ABH primer. I'm just gonna start placing this and I'm gonna just make a shape and I'm just gonna super speed this pro process because this video is not about this palette. It would have been, except this palette gave me so much shit. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm creating the shape way above my crease because I'm gonna create a fake crease that's like extremely high. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it really quickly. This is my Voldemort M506 and I'm just gonna breeze through this. Getting it up, ab up above that high brow bone. Now I'm just going to fill this all in. Now I'm just going to start building this color, packing it and building it, packing it and building it. Tapping this outer edge to get it, get that harsh line. Now I'm going in with my Voldemort JH33. I'm going into the color Mothman. Okay, in this palette, the color Mothman is not a fucking polite suggestion. It's actually a fucking command. Fucking do it. I'm gonna go into that and I'm just gonna start brushing that along my brow bone and over the top of this edge. So what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna take some of the stickiness out of the primer. And so when the primer is like set up, it your brush will kind of go kick, 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 like it's like sticking and skidding. If you use this color to just kind of take the stickiness out of your primer. And there's a couple people that I still watch that use this tactic and I just don't use it because I haven't needed to, but now I fucking do. This is how you help an uncooperative, how you assist an uncooperative shadow into submission, assisted into submission. Kind of like the police in America. <laughs> Now I'm using this technique because I've actually done this look already and fucked it. So basically I'm like doing what I finally grasped onto at the end of the first time I filmed this video. So if it looks like it's not being pesky, it's because I've already done this palette. I filmed this palette two different videos. So you can imagine my frustration. It's clearly valuable to me. Like if it wasn't a value, I would just say fuck it and not continue to try but I really want this palette to work and also the shimmers are fucking crazy good. I knew when I saw this palette when I opened it that it was like a one and one color one shimmer but the thing about it is is I can't do that. 
Okay, so now I'm going in with my, I have this Voldemort Fan 506 and I'm going into the color Chupacabra. And I'm just going 50% on the blue and 50% off. I just feel like this color Chupacabra is disappointing. There, I fucking said it. And so you see how that purple is really blending into that color Mothman and it's really giving a good dimension. It's like it's holding it at bay. It's like giving it, uh, it, it already has a base with which to mix. And so it's kind of doing that concept where you mix the two colors together. It's doing that and it's also smoothing out the surface to blend on. Now I'm going back into Loch Ness and I'm just building this because we want more of that shit. Now back into Chupacabra. And with my with the blue brush, no additional product, I'm just gonna go and with a very light hand, see my pinky. And I'm just gonna run this blue along my lower lash line, lock nest. And then into Chupacabra to blend that out. And now I'm going in with my Voldemorphy JH33 and I'm gonna go into that color Mothman and I'm gonna use that to blend this all out. And Chupacabra. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with another Voldemorphy M506 on this side and I'm gonna go into the color Crop Circles. And I'm going 50% on the blue and 50% off. And now back into Loch Ness. Now I'm going into crop circles. Now I'm going into Mothman.
into crop circles, just building this a little bit more. Now I'm gonna put Nix Glitter Primer on and I'm gonna use my AOA E131 to put on Nix Glitter Primer and I'm gonna do things a little differently this time just because. So I'm putting on the Nix Glitter Primer all upon my lid, all upon it, but I'm going really high. And I'm just carving this out And then I'm using my Jessup 234 and I'm gonna go into the color Paranormal. I'm actually gonna dip my AOA E131 into Paranormal and I'm just gonna use that to... And then I'm gonna spray my brush. And then with my Voldemorphy M506, I'm gonna go into Loch Ness. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then with my Zoeva 234, I'm going into the color Boogeyman. God damn it, I want to kill this fucking palette. Kill it. Kill it. Now back into my block nest. All right, now with my Beely pencil brush, I'm going into Boogeyman, spray the brush. And with my Jessup 230 pencil brush, I'm going into Paranormal, the purple, spray the brush. And I'm gonna go into area 51, which I'm not exactly excited about. And I'm using the same brush so I can get some of that purple on there. And then same thing with the Beely brush. I'm going into area 51 with the green brush. And then with my Zoeva 221, I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. <laughs> This is the manifesto, the piss de resistance. 
I used my Kaleidos Makeup Highlighter in Skywalker and my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in Sunrise Blue and my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Liquid Lip in Strange and my Rouge and Rogue Eye Wigs in Miss Fury. Can you guess why? So I don't even know what to say about this palette. The shimmers are fucking out of this world. The mattes are fucking total shit. I don't know what else to say about it. I literally love this brand so much. I love what they stand for. I love their liquid lipsticks. I love their highlighters. I love this palette. I don't understand why the mattes, why I've had such a hard time with the mattes. Everybody that I've seen use this palette killed it. They killed it. Their looks were totally amazing. They didn't have any problems. They had nothing but good things to say about them. It must be just me. I, I don't know. I have never had more difficulty with a look ever. So and that was on my third try. On my third try, I still had that much difficulty. The shimmers are totally worth the palette. I mean, five of them are shimmers, you know what I mean? So it's like half the palette is shimmers and I have a feeling this brown is really fucking good. But these two colors right here are like, literally impossible. I don't know what everybody's talking about. I don't even wanna say any of this shit. I don't even wanna upload this video. So that's it. That's all I have. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy charm. And hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here spending your precious, valuable time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.